Well, all the big Easter egg hunts have been cancelled, the one at Cliveden and elsewhere. But I hope that families across the area are able to arrange their own Easter egg hunts in their flats or houses or gardens today. As human beings, whatever our age, we like finding things, finding those lost keys, finding that old holiday memento or photo you haven't seen for ages, finding that shoot on the plant you thought was dead. You might not think that anyone can get excited about rhubarb, but I was so pleased this week when a new rhubarb root I thought was dead produced a tiny shoot and a leaf and they're growing. I do like rhubarb after all. And I also noticed catkins on the birch tree for the first time and that got me excited as well. Funny things make ministers excited. So what have you found this week in your lockdown? A new TV series you've never come across? A new walk you can do for your daily exercise? A new computer game to tackle or ball game to play or book to read? The first Christians weren't expecting to find anything on that first Easter day. Their hopes had been shattered by the death of Jesus on the cross. Their saviour was dead and buried and gone. And all the women could do was go and pay their respects at the tomb. But they found their lives turned upside down by an empty tomb and by meeting Jesus risen and alive. So what can we find as we look around the church today? It's a very empty church, I'm afraid to say. But I want to show you around all the same. And maybe we can meet Henry the Hoover on our travels. So our peace candle. Like many churches, we light an Easter candle to remember Christ, the light of the world. And the cross, symbol of love, the love of Christ. And our chalice and plate ready for our communion. The Bible open at Matthew's Gospel, the story of the resurrection. And behind some Easter flowers, not as many flowers as normal on an Easter Sunday here, the church will be full of flowers. But our thanks to Debbie for arranging these in her busy schedule as a mum and district nurse. And there's Henry, Henry the Hoover. He's been keeping me company over the last few Sundays. And he's got a, a sign on him, a lovely rainbow, rainbow of hope. Stay safe. Stay safe, everyone. Thank you, Henry. And the collection bags and our Lent uh, charity leaflets on Christian aid and water aid. Reminder that we need to carry on giving and helping others. Come back to the church, very empty church. But here's an Easter egg and I hope all of you have had an Easter egg from someone today. We took out Easter cards to some of our members in nursing homes and restricted at home. And a wonderful chick knitted by Beryl and with a, an Easter egg hidden within it. And the palm cross as well. We go past our tree of prayer 
and head towards the front. And then just above us is our marvellous window. A very famous picture, but put into glass. Christ, the light of the world. Jesus knocking at the door of our lives. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into them and eat with them and they with me.